Right, hello everyone, this is Product Shard, and today we're going over this week's Gun of the Week. Uh, and this week it is the KSG, as you'll be seeing here. Uh, I've got a reason for it, is that, uh, well the KSG has been a good gun uh, for quite a while. Not, kind of, I haven't liked it particularly, but I've been killed by it quite a few times. Uh, and uh, when you do use it properly, you can obviously one-shot people from a very long range, because it does have that slug in it. So wherever you aim, it will go in a straight line like a sniper, uh, and it will fire that one shot, and then you have to pump it. But that one shot does a lot of damage, and anywhere, like in the body basically, if you're close enough, it will one shot them for, like, uh, it's probably like 10 to 15 meters. Uh, compared to other shotguns, which are like a, f a one shot from like 1 to 5 meters. Uh, if you're lucky, if you're using like the R870, it's probably a little bit longer. Uh, but the S12 and the M1216 are probably a bit shorter than that, to be honest. Um, so the KSG is a very powerful weapon if used properly. But it has recently been, like, the the thing that I had, the, the problem I had with it, has recently been fixed. And they've made it so you can now properly quickscope with this gun. Uh, and, like, the gun of the week and the style that you should play it in if you want to enjoy this gun to its fullest. Uh is to quick scope with it as you will see in this game this is uh this gameplay here is just showing you that it is it's good uh i get a bit of a kill streak with it i just go on a merciless i think uh just to show you that it can get one shot kills in most situations uh it is without the suppressor the suppressor does make that range a little bit less uh but to be honest it's uh very very good if you use it properly but it used to be the fact that when you are sprinting, which you do with shotguns, or at least I hope you do, uh, you should be, and when you sprint with them and then aim down sight, the kind of time it takes for the bullet uh, to actually go straight uh, is like half a second or so. So with other shotguns, uh, this doesn't really matter because you aim down sight and you're still hip firing anyway, uh, and it doesn't really matter because all the bullets still spread round. But with the KSG, if you aim down sight and you're aiming directly on someone's chest, it will take another half a second for it to go from hip fire like accuracy, even though you're aiming down sight, to actually going directly straight. Uh, so you'd have to aim down sight, wait for half a second, and then fire if you wanted to fire in a straight line. But they fixed that in the recent patch, so now as soon as you've hit aim down sight, as soon as you're aiming straight, it will fire directly straight. And that has allowed for quick scoping, as you will see in this gameplay. Uh, I am on grind, I'm tack inserting on uh, demolition. Uh, and I am going to go on some quick scoping tears. Uh, I do get some nice clips in it, well, at least one. Uh, kind of near the end, if I don't manage to talk for that long, then I'll shove it in in the end anyway, uh, so you can see it. But uh, because of this, you can now run and. Instead of having to get really, really close and hip fire, or having to put like stock on it and aim down sight and basically hold down the aim down sight and just strafe around corners if you want to aim in a straight line, um, you can now just quick scope. Uh, which, for those of you who use snipers, it could be something uh, a little bit different to try uh, because the range is still quite far, but you do have to get much, much closer uh, and. Uh, I mean, it's not too close. You can still, like, spawn trap people, which I end up doing uh, at the end. And um, you can rack up some pretty nice kill streaks if you're not too aggressive. Uh, and you can also get some nice feeds. So that just makes this gun, in my opinion, a lot more fun and a lot more viable, to be honest. Because you used to have to play it always aiming down sight. But now you can sprint in and you just see someone. Uh, and instead of aiming in and having to hold it down for half a second to make sure that you'll actually fire onto them. Uh, you can just do it instantly, you just aim down sight really quick, uh, especially with quick draw, but I'll go over the class in a minute. Um, and you will fire exactly where you're aiming, and it may take a while to get used to like uh, the sensitivity and the quick scoping bit of it, uh, but once you do get it set up, it is much, much faster than quick scoping with like a sniper. And if you are close enough to them, and you are accurate, then it, you will kill people so quickly, and they will have literally zero chance uh, to actually get any shots at you at all. But obviously the only downside is if you do get too close to people, 
and you do miss that first shot, you still have the time uh, that you need to pump the the like pump action part of the gun uh, to load the next slug, and you can obviously die in that point. Uh, so as you play, you will get more and more accurate, and the more accurate you get, the kind of less you will die, because if you're not very accurate, you will die quite often, uh, because you'll miss the first shot, then they'll jump around and get scared and start shooting at you, and that will probably make you lose uh, or miss the second shot and then the third, and it gets very difficult at that point to then uh, kind of recover and get the kills. But as long as you are being accurate, then you can rack up some big feeds. Now, for the class setup, you want to have, obviously, the KSG, and you can have, like, a range of attachments. Uh, if you're trying to do the quick scoping, then I would recommend the quick draw grip. Uh, that was a nice little triple. Um, yeah, the quick draw grip just means you're aiming down sight in, like, half the time or something. Uh, it makes it much, much more quick and... or quicker... And um, this just means you're going to be killing people as long as you're accurate uh, in like half the time, basically. And um, then, as another attachment, I mean, the quick draw grip is basically essential if you're trying to quick scope. If you don't want to quick scope, then just shove on a stock and like strafe around corners. Uh, but for this way of playing, you you do want the quick draw grip. Then the next kind of attachments uh, is up to you. I personally use the long barrel because that gives you a bit more range. Uh, it ups that one-shot kill range to, like, higher. Uh, so you can fire a bit further, you're more likely to be able to kill them in one shot, spawn trap them uh, from a little bit further away, stuff like that, get some more clips. Um, but you can change this to maybe suppressor, which will reduce the range by 30%, I think. Um, but obviously you won't be seen, like, on the radar, so you can get in behind people uh, and kill them all without any of them noticing, which, if that's your style of play, then... Uh, or if you're on like a certain game mode where it's very easy to get behind people, then Suppressor may be right for that. But if you're on something like Demolition, you probably don't want it because if you can't fire that full distance, uh, then you might die quite often. But if you don't want that, then you can put obviously Stock on if you want, if you think you'll be aiming, or you'll be like quick scoping and trying to strafe around corners, uh, and you'll be aiming down sight a lot. So you can put that on if you want. Uh, the laser sight also brings the hip fire in a lot, so if you are thinking you'll be getting a little bit too close, then the laser sight will bring the hip fire in, so it's very, very small. Uh, and if you get that on someone, they are basically dead. That is the way I try and, like, get kill streaks with it, I guess, if I'm trying to get kill streaks, uh, because it makes the hip fire a lot more viable. Uh, but any other attachments, I, I wouldn't recommend the red dot sight uh, or the reflex sight. If you're not too good at aiming it yet, then maybe try that and that will help you get used to the sensitivity and aiming it. Because it's a bit clearer than the iron sights, but once you do get used to the sensitivity and stuff, uh, I would recommend not using it. Because it does take up an item slot, which can be like long barrel or something. Which gets you those one shot kills more often. Uh, and in my opinion is a bit more kind of useful. Uh, same with the MMS, that's not particularly useful. Uh, and does also make it kind of harder to aim. Uh, but I can't really think of any other attachments. But basically those are the ones you want to use. It's quick draw grip uh, or stock and then long barrel or maybe suppressor. Uh, and those are the only ones you want to kind of be using. For perks, definitely lightweight or flak jacket depending on the game mode. Uh, if you're trying to run and get feeds and stuff, uh, then... I would definitely recommend uh, lightweight, especially if you don't have a tack insertion. Uh, if you're trying to get clips or feeds and stuff like that, use the tack insertion. If you don't have one, lightweight will just allow you to get to like the other side of the map quicker. Uh, if you do die, but if you're trying to get kill streaks and you're playing the objective, if you're like on hard point or something, uh, then definitely run flak jacket because you're going to be getting very close to people. Uh, you'll be in objectives basically all the time, uh, and it will just save you a lot. Um, second perk uh, doesn't really matter uh, probably hardened is the best if you're trying to quick scope uh, because if they do get one or two shots into you uh, then it won't jump up too much and you're still more likely to get the shot uh, or get the kill with it uh, this, is the, this is the nice clip look at that, nice little four man 
Um, and a hit marker, which annoyed me. But that is what you can do with this. It is very, very quick to kill people. Uh, if you can get your aim on them. And, yeah, that's basically it. Oh, well, perk 3, you definitely want dexterity. That is that is a must. Uh, I personally, for second like secondaries, uh, I run the executioners. But pistol dual wield, maybe, like, what I would suggest, putting it on. Because if you do get really, really close to people, this weapon becomes very difficult to hit people with. Uh, so the pistol akimbo just means if you are running into a very, very close... Uh, close quarters building or something then you can bring them out and it will just give you a much higher chance of actually getting the kill uh, and not dying so much that's especially if you're trying to go on kill streaks uh, and then equipment and stuff tack insertion if you can uh, and I personally use C4 but you can change it out for a combat axe if you want uh, to get a nice little feed with uh, if you're like if you can't don't have time to pump the gun you can throw your combat axe and get that fourth person if that's what you're looking for. But this is a very fun gun to use if you do end up using it. It will take uh, a good hour, maybe two, to get used to kind of the sensitivity and actually get used to the quick scoping aspect of it. But once you do, it becomes very, very fun. Uh, and you can get nice little clips and feeds and uh, kill streaks if that's what you're into more. Because if you do get the accuracy good, it is a very, very reliable gun. Uh, and it will get you one hit kills very, very often. So, if you want to have some fun this week, try this out. Uh, it might take a while to get to the quick draw grip uh, in the first place because it's quite a high up attachment. Uh, but once you get there, it becomes very, very fun. So, cheers for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy using this. Uh, and I will see you next week.